Welcome to another great episode of Boat Show TV. Today we continue our coverage of the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, starting at South Florida Yachts, where we get the latest on two new Monterey boats. Then we check in with Sundance Marine for some of the finest boats from brands Regal and Formula Boats. Next, we feature the MTI 42 SV, a center console boat with performance and luxury options to spare. Wider Yachts opens eyes while answering the question, what if this boat was twice as wide? And finally, we highlight the world premiere of the 120 two foot Riva Mythos. Let's go, it's showtime. Blair Forrester is with South Florida Yachts and they are the Fort Lauderdale dealer for Monterey and been wanting to get back to Monterey and see some of the new models. Blair, we are on this 288. I love the boat, it's a great family day boat, lots of room. Tell us some of these features. Well, it's a great all-around boat as a boating specialist to see all these nice features combined in one, especially the uh, multi-function aft lounge, which is very, very popular. Yeah. And uh, people just love it. It's an all-around sporty boat with lots of sex appeal, and you're going to love the front end to the back end. Uh, also, I can't see the power, but tell me a little bit about how you power this boat. Uh, put the uh, Mark Cruiser 8.2 in it, which is the big block. Okay. Uh, real strong power. It's kind of like a muscle car on the water. It yeah. likes to growl out of the hole, but it runs real fine and nice. You get in some sloppy sea conditions, yeah. 30 mile an hour, 40 mile an hour. Yeah, I can run at 50, and you're, 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 you're loving it. So obviously a nice big bimini top. Is this something that comes uh, This comes with the boat? or are there... on the boat, yeah. you know, lots of shade, stainless fitting, stainless hardware. You want a strong top. I like some of these creature comforts, so a lot of foldable seating, uh, like the, the, the lounge with the backrest there that comes up, a lot of cup holders, recessed areas. Um, I'm guessing you could easily have 10 or 12 people on this boat and they'd all be comfortable. I'll be comfortable. Front end to the back end, freshwater shower, stereo remotes. Up next on Boat Show TV, we climb aboard the new Monterey 36 to check out their patented windshield design. Rick Richard is a regional sales manager for Monterey Boats and uh, Rick, everybody's talking about this new 36. Tell us uh, some of the cool features of the boat. Thank you, it is a cool boat. The, everyone has gone on the boat, I think more than one has just said it's clean. Yes. And it is, it's very clean. And that's what we went to make it very, very clean. You can see by the way the upholstery is, it looks very modern. Let's talk about how this boat is powered and what are some of the power options that you can get in this 36. We, we can use either Merc Cruiser or Volvo, yes. either one. Uh, gas, and right now we'll probably have a diesel option too. Yes. With a diesel, it will be Volvo diesels. Yes. Uh, this engine, this particular boat here has uh, eight twos in it. Uh, it's, it's powered to where it's gonna be running in the mid 40s, right. which is very comfortable for this size boat. Sure. Uh, a lot of nice uh, cabin features down below, giving our viewers a chance to get a look inside the boat as well. Uh, what are most people's response uh, when they see the cabin down below? What do they like about it, mostly? They, they love it. Yeah. Again, day cruiser. There's yeah. not a lot of frills on it, Yes. but it's very, very nice. A lot of room here and a lot of very open in the cockpit here. I noticed like this, this bar here, this little island and the, the counter that wraps around here. Uh, plenty of seating. It looks like the seating flips around both ways so you can sit at the helm or at this this, this uh, seating and face backwards as that, well. That is correct. Here we've got a place for ice, mm -hmm. a place for glasses, yep. over here a place for bottles, and the same thing on the other side. Sure. Underneath here we have two air conditioning units, one for this side and one for that side. So I, I thought it felt kind of cool in here. It's yeah. on right now, it's blowing air on us. It's very cool in here. <laughs> and the third is down in the cabin. So this is really a yeah. cool boat. <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> in every which way of the word. Uh, nice, obviously, stereo system, well-positioned speakers. Um, I love the helm. It's very clean. Uh, again, you're staying with that clean word. And let's talk about the one big feature that's new, and, and they tell me at the factory that the marshals tell me that this is a patented new uh, removable, retractable windscreen. You can open it up all the way or close it halfway or a little bit down seal it up all the way so it's adjustable however much breeze you want coming into this cabin. If you want to seal it off, of course, you've got the air conditioner going around. Really big for going up onto the deck. Boat Show TV will be right back with more of the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show presented by Show Management. With 
so many great experiences to share together. Marathon is the perfect place to keep your kids grounded and an even better place to watch them soar. Marathon in the Florida Keys. Blackwater boats are the champion's choice. Race to your destination, reel in the big ones, then push it to the limit to get back in time for weigh-in. Blackwater boats can run over 70 miles per hour. Check out the brand new sport models equipped with full forward and rear seating for more creature comforts. Custom build your dream Blackwater available in 36, 39, or 43 foot TE and sport models. Then choose your power, twin, triple, or quad motor options. Available exclusively through BoatsDirectUSA.com. Hungry for a little fun? Head for the new Tilted Kilt Hoppy Hour. Dig in to seven new sizzling appetizers, seasoned to perfection and priced from $2 to $5. Pair them up with your favorite draft beer and get ready to lift your glasses and your spirits. So come in for the new Tilted Kilt Hoppy Hour from 3 to 7 p.m. and 9 to close and tilt the day your way. Tilted Kilt Pub and Eatery. A cold beer never looks so good. In the world of racing, there's only one thing that matters, results. The pros are taking notice of the latest in fuel technology, Boostane. Boostane is an engineered octane concentrate that delivers on its promises. Promises that are documented by independent testing facilities, safe to use in any internal combustion engine. Boostane can achieve octane levels previously unattainable in the fuel additive market. Want race fuel at a fraction of the cost? Simply follow the quick ratio chart to achieve your desired octane level with Boostane. Welcome back to Boat Show TV. Let's continue our coverage of the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show at Sundance Marine, where we start with a look at the Formula 400 SS. Continuing our coverage here at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Uh, it's really great to get around the docks and see all the new product uh, and good to bump into some of our friends. Uh, ran into Scott Groski here at Formula uh, at Sundance Marine. Now you sell a lot of different boats, but Formula is obviously one of your top sellers. And I had to get on this Formula 400 SS, one of my favorite formulas ever built. And they're looking great. Tell us more about this boat. Uh, the Formula 400 SS is the largest in the series of SS, which is Sun Sport or Super Sport. Okay. And it's a great combination boat for those who really need some family amenities, but they still like the styling and performance that you can get in, in a boat this size. And I like that, you know, they a lot of times they say that a crossover boat uh, doesn't always meet the needs of somebody because it's not fast enough or it's not big enough, but I've been through the boat and I know how it performs. Uh, I know you've got diesel power in this one. You can also get it with 520s and I've heard of some people that can get them as high as 700s. Uh, so I know that's going to be a big performer. But plenty of room on this boat. It's a very beamy boat. It's got a huge cabin down below. What do people say when they go downstairs? They must like just get blown away by its size. They didn't expect it. They they don't expect to see the level of luxury and accommodations down below. They just kind of think it's a high performance boat. Um, terrific headroom, over 6'2 of headroom. It's a lot, yeah. Yeah, and um, it, it's true, people really are shocked. And then the lounge seating in the back is clearly designed uh, to fit a lot of people. You could easily seat six passengers in the back of the boat, two at the helm, uh, and you've even got this cool little seat in the back, it's the funniest thing. Is that something new? I came out a couple of years ago, it's a convertible sun lounge, so it's a rear bench seat that converts into a sun lounge quickly. Let's talk about performance now. This boat has the diesels. Uh, what is what exactly is this package? What engines are they? What horsepower? Uh, they're 400 horsepower Volvo Penta diesels with outdrives and duo props. Okay. The boat will perform top speed in the neighborhood of 52 miles an hour and okay. cruise easily in big seas over 40 miles per hour. Now, if you want to put gas motors in here, you're going to go to a Mercury 520, I'm guessing. Uh, or yeah, Mercury 520s would probably be the recommended uh, yeah. package. Some people will, will go bigger, like you said. Another uh, creature comfort, I like the hard top, I like the fact that it's it's got a lot of coverage here for Florida boaters. Uh, you can get out of the sun, stay out of the sun, you still have hatches up here that you can open up to open the boat up and get some air in. And I like the fact that the clearance, the above clearance, without the radar is 10 foot 6. Now for those of you who live in Florida that are in behind fixed bridges like we are, that's a perfect height. You're going to be able to get through most bridges at 10 6, not a problem. And you're going to be able to cruise the entire intracoastal without ever Having to, having to ask for a bridge opening, which I really like. Up next on Boat Show TV, we continue our coverage with a look at Regal's flagship model, the stunning 53. Stop by to see our friends here at Sundance Marine. Uh, 
Joe Perez is uh, one of the sales guys at one of your five stores that you have here at the Pompano Beach location. And we are now here, Joe, at the flagship of the Regal Fleet. Tell us about this beautiful 53 Sport Coupe. Okay, well, yeah, this is our 53, our flagship boat. Uh, it's made by Regal Boat Company. I went in the boat in the Miami show, and we haven't had a chance to showcase the boat on Boat Show TV yet, so this is our first time now. Right. Um, so let's talk about the power, because I'm looking in that giant engine room, and I see some big diesel engines. What kind of right. power does it have, and how does it perform? Right, well, those are the Cummings, the 6.7 Zeus. Those are 550 horsepower, and they will take the boat up to 30 mile an hour very comfortably. Sure. Uh, and we are getting pretty close to a mile to a gallon, which is what you'd like to get in a big, big boat. It's a 450 gallon fuel tank. Normally you want to have a 10% reserve, so but sure. you'll definitely get 400 mile cruising range out of that. That'll get you to Bahamas and back. Uh, I definitely want to get on the boat and take a look at it a little closer, but let's talk about some of the features. It's got a forward cabin, an aft cabin, a big salon. Right. They, uh, well, the way that they designed it at first was they wanted to make something that was close in size of, of a sedan bridge, mm -hmm. uh, but with not with the obstructions of the sedan bridge, like having to climb steps and everything. So we're pretty high up. And what that gave us is a nice salon, which you're going to see inside. You have six, eight headroom all throughout the inside of the boat. And instead of making the forward stateroom the master, we made the back one the master, so we give you a nice 16-foot beam master. Joe, this is the kind of engine room that I would expect to see on a 100-foot mega yacht. And here we are with this 53 Regal with a massive engine room, a lot of room to move around. Yep. I mean, you see you have a stand-up uh, room to work in this boat. Um, everything is very well laid out. Uh, this boat has a lot of incredible technical features I'm not going to bore you with, but uh, yeah. really has uh, nice uh, things like a, you have an ISO boost transformer, which gives you 240 volts no matter if you're at the end of the dock. Uh, yeah. It has a sea chest, which is an automatic sea straining system, so you don't have to worry about strainers. And mm -hmm. it even has the gyro system in this boat. It does have the gyro yep. system stabilizing. Yep. Up next on Boat Show TV, we continue our coverage of the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, presented by Show Management. Don't go away. Hey, wait a minute. I know that face. It's not your everyday face, but I know it. It's a face of joy, of calm, a face of exhilaration, even surprise. Oh, I know where I've seen that face. Welcome to the water. Step into boating with our free DVD at discoverboating.com. Hey boaters, if you enjoy performance boating and fun in the sun, Florida Power Boat Club has everything you need. We plan the best events and get you there safely to the hottest boating destinations in Florida. But you don't have to own a boat to enjoy the lifestyle. Social membership starts at just 69 bucks and includes the Power Boating in Paradise magazine, FPCT, exciting DVDs, and our great parties. Call our Pompano Beach headquarters, like us on Facebook, or visit flpowerboat.com. It's time to get in on the fun. not all be in the same boat, but out on the water, we're all on the same wavelength. In the Florida Keys and Key West. Up next on Boat Show TV, we continue our coverage of the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show with a visit to a boat we have checked out in the past, but just had to get a closer look for this show, the MTI 42 SV. Tim Gallagher here at uh, MTI Marine Technology Inc. And uh, Tim, the big talk here at MTI is this SV42 line that came out a couple of years ago. And you guys have been building a lot of them and we're on a beautiful silver metallic one here right now, a brand new, brand new one. And I bet you this has had turned a lot of heads. Yeah, we, we kind of stopped traffic on the dock. You know, we, we brought this silver boat and a, another very bold red boat. And uh, it gathers a lot of attention. When you walk up to the boat at first, Tim, I don't think anybody realizes just how big it is. It's 42 feet, but it's got a huge beam, and it's clearly got room for at least 12 or 15 people. So what is the beam, and how many people can you ride around with? This is an 11 and a half foot beam, so you do have space, and you're really not going to leave anybody behind on the dock. Let's talk about power. It seems to be that everyone likes the uh, Verado 300, so a quad setup with 1,200 horsepower. How are you doing on fuel, range, etc.? 
Well, you're standing in a 70 mile an hour boat, mm -hmm. but if you, if you have the personal restraint to throttle yeah. back a little bit, at 45 miles an hour, we can get a mile to the gallon, sure. which gets you a 400 plus mile range. Talk a little bit about the detail work, uh, the beautiful flooring, the, the bolsters, the triple bolsters, the forward seating. I mean, there really is a lot of design that went into this cockpit. There's an awful lot. We, we stay up late. We, yeah. I sleep with a uh, notepad next to my bed so I can write things down when I think of it. But we, um, we've got some little tricks in our seating and the way we store the fenders and little trash cans here and there. Yeah. It's all the little things that, you know, it adds up to a better day on the water. Let's talk about that, um, that midship cabin that's below the helm. We do have a full cabin. You've got six and a half feet of headroom. There is a queen size mattress. Yep. You got an electric head. There's air conditioning. This one's got a generator on it. Sure. So it's a full amenity boat, but we didn't overrun the boat with a cabin. A lot of treatments to a lot of upgrades as far as electronics I can see. I see three Garmin's uh, up there. I see a lot of instrumentation. Uh, what, what's Is that kind of like the standard setup that you've got? A lot of guys have been going with full electronics packages, radar, fish finders, right. three screens. You throw your engine data on one screen, right. your, your map on the other, and this one runs its stereo through another one. Up next on Boat Show TV, it's time to broaden our horizons and rethink what we know about boat design and capabilities. Wider Yachts started with a simple question. What if this boat was twice as wide? Hey guys, I just stepped onto the dock and behind me is the Wider Yacht. It's a very interesting concept in that the hull actually opens up and spreads out to what looks about like a tennis court. Take a look behind me, guys. Look at all that room. Mark, how is that achieved? Well, <laughs> very difficultly. Uh, it's it's a quite an intricate um, mechanism, and uh, basically the boat starts off at ten for six wide, and then it doubles in width. The sides come out five feet, but it also has to be floated. It's driven by belts uh, through a, a gearbox, a very a specially dedicated gearbox, and. Uh, we had a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of work that uh, was put into this to, to make it happen. Yeah, the engineering's got to be incredible. Mark, uh, can, can the operator of the boat run with these open, or does that need to be closed? No, it can idle, uh, which is around five knots. So if you're somewhere and you're down anchor, you can pull up anchor, and you can idle to wherever you want to go, drop back anchor again without shutting the sides. But it closes in and out within sort of 12 to 15 seconds. You say it, it works good at idle at five knots. I'm guessing this goes a little bit faster than five. Yeah, the top speed on the boat, uh, we've had the first boat actually running at 55 knots um, just to see where we could go with it. And uh, it's very, very efficient, uh, but generally the boat's loaded at the sort of nine to 10 ton range. Uh, they'll hit 50 knots all day long. And how is that achieved? What's she powered with? She's powered with a pair of 480 Cummins through a twin disc 5061 uh, transmission, one and a half to one gear ratio, Arneson ASD8 drives, and Roller six blade propellers. Mark, that's a pretty high tech looking steering wheel. Tell me a little bit about what that does. Well, originally we kind of thought about the concept of being able to put everything to control the boat on the steering wheel. Instead of having a thousand gadgets and gauges and trim buttons and so, uh, it was a, with Tilly and, and his ingenious mind and a company uh, in Italy, uh, they came up with this system. And so basically the whole system stays stationary in the middle of the wheel and you can operate everything from the sides opening to the radio, to the trim, to the tabs, just about everything operates off that steering wheel. So you can turn the wheel, but it stays stationary. Boat Show TV will be right back with more coverage of the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show after these messages from our sponsors. Don't go away.
ride? Come to OffLeaseOnly.com. To wrap up today's coverage of the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, we are proud to feature the world debut of the Riva Mythos, a 122-foot yacht notable for her aluminum hull and the speed of her construction. Hey guys, I'm here with Brett Keating. Brett is the Vice President of Marketing for Ferretti Group of the Americas. Brett, I got a question for you. I'm looking around here at all these boats that you've got in this display. How long does it take to bring all of these beauties in here? Well, you know, we actually start planning this in August to make sure that everything that's coming from Italy, new and what we have, is going to fit. So between, you know, the, the time of putting together all the plans in August and we really start the crunch, um, I would say the beginning of October to make all the plans to get everything here on time. So th these Rivas are all from Italy. Were they all here originally or, or when, when did they arrive here in the United States? Um, well, actually, the one behind us just got here uh, two days ago, so it just got off the ship. Oh, that's crunch time. Yes. Tell me a little bit about the 122-foot Mythos. Yeah, the Riva Mythos, this is actually the world premiere for this boat. It came from Italy, and the owner wanted to bring it to Miami right away. So it kind of skipped uh, the Con show, the Monaco show, and it came right here. So we were very lucky to have her in the show, the largest boat that we have on the display, and why we actually created an individual Riva display. It really deserved its own attention at this show. I can just see by the crowd, it's getting some attention. Hang in there. The Boat Show TV crew had to wait until the next day to get on board Mythos, but it was well worth the wait. Captain Pedro just invited us on board Seoul. She's a big, beautiful Riva that we looked at yesterday, but there was so much media attention, we couldn't get on board. I'm glad that, that I caught up with Pedro, and he's invited us on board. Pedro, tell us a little bit about Seoul. Oh, Seoul is, uh, right now, is the biggest uh, Riva I've ever built in uh, aluminum. Uh, he's 122 foot, 25 beam, and uh, it's a nice thing. We can run this boat in top speed was 30 knots. This boat will do 30 knots. She must have some pretty good size engines on underneath her. What are they? Yeah, we use the M2s, the M93s. Uh, this boat is uh, is a uh, 1,600, uh, sorry, uh, 3,600 uh, horsepower each. Uh, it's, a, it's a very good uh, for for the size and uh, speed. You know, cruising speed you can do 25 easily. 25 at cruise for 122 feet. You did mention she was built out of aluminum, and and uh, this is a departure for Riva. She, most of the Rivas are built out of uh, uh, fiberglass. So tell us a little bit about why the owner chose aluminum. Well, the decision is uh, the, the first uh, uh, for the first aluminum cut to the boat in the water is 18 months. That's the reason uh, he decided the yard with the owner. We we do together this project for the for the uh, ability to make very fast in in aluminum in fiberglass. You need to make the mold and everything. He decided, the guys from the yard uh, decided to do very fast. We almost built the boat in 18 months. So we built a 122 foot boat of this caliber, this beautiful, in 18 months. That is absolutely stunning. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> amazing. Nobody, uh, the, the owner doesn't believe, but uh, you know, he, he wants to use uh, the boat in the season in Europe for the, the mad season. And uh, he, he, he's really uh, <laughs> very happy. Boat Show TV wraps up our coverage with the closing moments of the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show as all the boats sound their horns to signal the end of the show. Well, this pretty much wraps up uh, Monday here at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, the 55th edition. The horns are starting. You can hear them from yachts to power boats. Here we go, celebrating the final moments. Five o'clock here on a Monday. Courtney, we had a good show? We did. It's been a great show, Stu. You met a lot of people, got a, good, a lot of good leads? We have, we got a lot of new members, a lot of new subscriptions, a lot of people excited about the, the motorcycle show coming up. That's it, so motorcycles, boats, it's right here in Fort Lauderdale. Another fabulous chapter in Boat Show TV. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next episode of Boat Show TV right here on Sun Sports. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Boat Show TV. 
Our next episode will feature a few more surprises and highlights from the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, followed by coverage of the Florida Power Boat Club's premier event, the 22nd Annual Key West Poker Run. We join over 160 poker run teams in Key West and take a behind-the-scenes look at the folks and products that made this event a smashing success again this year.